So, as I said before these next few videos, I want to help out those people who are feeling a little lost and depressed because of all the doom and gloom they see on social media, and why I don't buy it, and why I fundamentally disagree with the people who are trying to push it. First off, if you are feeling depressed because of all the shit you're seeing, I highly recommend you take a break from social media. Get off Twitter, get off Instagram, get off TikTok, YouTube, whatever. All of these platforms have algorithms that are designed to trigger your deepest loves and hates back to back to back to back to back until you literally have no emotions left to feel. And they're designed to keep you there all day until you're angry and sad and then you realize you were not productive at all the entire day and now you're even more sad. So turn that shit off and right now go to your favorite coffee shop and take a second to look around and notice that the world is completely fine. It's just full of normal people doing normal things. The cute cashier that you have a crush on but never talk to because you're shy, she's still there. The guy working on his laptop doing remote work with his usual dark coffee is still there. The cute girl reading her favorite book in the corner is still there. Kids playing with their dogs in the park across the street is still there. The world is not falling apart. Your perception of it is. It's not an accident that all of social media is always telling you about the next big emergency crisis that is gonna end everything. Do you ever wonder why? Because the answer is actually quite simple. When people give up on the future, they default to being miserable and live in the moment. Miserable people who live in the moment do not save, do not build, do not practice or prepare for the future. They do the opposite which is spend and consume stupid shit that hurts them in the long run because they no longer care about the long run. Keeping people miserable is a business strategy to keep you consuming garbage. Now, some of you guys might remember last year in one of my videos talking about some New Year's resolutions and how this year my goal is to get shredded abs because I've never had that and I want to try it. Now, I'm not there yet, but I'm on the way, and let me tell you something I've learned while being in the middle of this journey. As soon as you start to drink more water, you realize how much money you waste on soda, beer, coffee, boba tea, and alcohol. As soon as you start to invest in your health, you'll realize how much money you waste on trash food and literal sugar for breakfast that is killing your six-pack. And as soon as you start to plan on how to save money for retirement, you start to realize you don't really need to buy that much to have a healthy, productive day. And this is the key point you should remember. See, companies have realized if you can just make most of the population miserable, then most of the population will buy shit they don't need. It's very difficult to make money off of a population that is saving and investing in its future. That is why you are surrounded by doom and gloom. Everything around you is telling you to YOLO. You see, it's hard to sell Coke and alcohol and beer and pizza and donuts to people who are investing in their health. It's hard to sell the next trend in fashion or shoes to people who are saving up for retirement. It's hard to sell therapy to people who are happy. Business used to be about selling what people need. But at this point, they realized, hey, we could just sell shit people don't need as long as that shit is some sort of short-term gratification. Like, when is the last time you heard a song that had lyrics that sounded vaguely like this? Let's all be responsive. Always study. Go to sleep on time. Only drink water. Keep in my prime. Don't ever break. Always saving money. Of course, songs are not like this. Songs like this will never be allowed to be popular. Because if too many people did that, then businesses would lose massive amounts of money. The new strategy is to kill the future. Let's make the average person think it's cool to say, fuck the future, fuck tomorrow. Let's buy this bottle from this hot chick we'll never talk to again. And get so hammered tonight that we will waste all of the weekend. That's the mentality that makes sales, that businesses profit off of. It's easier to make people spend money if they don't think money is going to matter in the future. And the worst part is when people are miserable, miserable people like to make other people miserable. People don't want to feel like shit by themselves. And this has been true since the dawn of humankind. The old saying, misery loves company, 
has been a natural part of the human persona, and it will continue to be a part of the human persona forever. Because despite how much technology is changing, people do not change. Most people will default to the easier option most of the time, and it's much easier to bring everyone else down than to bring yourself up. So consider taking at least an hour break from social media every day, and spend that time with friends, with family, with loved ones, with some homies on Discord, it doesn't matter. Whoever you care about, spend time with them instead. It really helps keep things into perspective for you. There's a lot you can do right now that will help put you in a better place in the future. And I promise, there will still be successful artists, writers, dancers, engineers, directors, far into the future. Maybe the workflow will change, maybe the size of the teams will change, but they're never going to go away they're going to evolve the same way they have in history. And if you want to know why art jobs are never going to die, join me in the next video. As always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.